Welcome to this lesson on the personal pronouns in German. Die Personalpronomen. Let's first read the personal pronouns. Ich, du, er, sie, es, wir, ihr, sie, sie. Okay, now let's take a detailed look at the pronouns. Let's start with the singular pronouns. While in English, I is always spelled with a capital letter, Ich in German is spelled with a small i. The next pronoun is Du. We use Du to address a child or a person we know well like a friend or family member. We wouldn't use Du with a person that we would address using Sir or Madam. The next pronoun is Er. It is used just like in English, but it is also used to refer to a masculine noun, in which case we would use it in English. For example, in German, the pen, der Stift, is masculine. When we want to say it, the pen, is cheap, in German we have to use er because we have to use the masculine pronoun for a masculine noun. The sentence would be er ist billig. Note that the pronunciation of this word is close to the British pronunciation of the word er. Er. The r at the end is not pronounced. Sie follows the same principle. It is used just like she in English. And it is also used to refer to a feminine noun, in which case we would use it in English. For example, in German, the bag, die Tasche, is feminine. When we want to say it, the bag, is cheap, in German we would have to use sie, because we have to use the feminine pronoun for a feminine noun. The sentence would be, sie ist billig. Es is used to replace all neuter nouns. For example, the mobile phone is cheap. Es, das Handy, ist billig. Es is also used in sentences like It is raining, es regnet, or It is difficult, es ist schwierig. Let's get to the plural. Wir means we in English. Note that the pronunciation of this word is close to the pronunciation of the word via when it is pronounced via. The R at the end is not pronounced. Ihr is the plural of du. So it is used to address two or more children or two or more persons we know well like friends or family members. We wouldn't use ihr with people that we would address using ladies or gentlemen. Note that the pronunciation of this word is close to the British pronunciation of the word ear. Ihr. The r at the end is not pronounced. Z means they. It is the plural of the words he, she, and it. Now if you spell z with a capital S, It turns into the polite form and is used for one or more persons that you would not address using du or ihr. It is listed with the plural pronouns because the verb that comes with it is always in the plural, no matter if we address one person or more. Okay, that's all. Thanks for watching and see you in the next lesson. Tschüss!